Hello everyone, welcome to another SQL Server tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how to alter the name of the database. I have already created two sample databases, TestDB and TestDB2. So if you want to learn how to create a new database, please refer to my previous video. I'll leave the link in the description. So to change the name of the database or to rename the database, we have two methods. One is the graphical way and the other is by writing a query. So let's see how to do it the graphical way. So right click on the database name which you want to rename. Then select rename and give the new name. Let's re rename it to testdb2 or testdb1 because we already have testdb2. Okay, so this is how you rename using the graphical way. The other way how you can rename the database is by using the alter command. So let's write the alter query alter database since we are altering the database and let's rename the test db1 again so test db1 and we use the modify keyword again modify followed by the name since we are changing the name of the database and give a new name so let's rename it to test db now if i go ahead and execute this the database name test db has been set so this test db1 should now be changed to test db. Let's refresh this. So as you can see, it's changed to test db. So this is another way how you can change the name. There is one more way by which you can change the name. There is a system short procedure called sp underscore rename db. So using this short procedure also, we can change the name of the database. So let's change the name of test db2. So first you write the system short procedure followed by the name of the database that you want to change then the new database name. Let's rename it to test db1. Okay. So if I go ahead and execute this, this test db2 should be renamed to test db1. So test db1 has been set. So if I refresh this, as you can see, the name has been changed to test db1. So these are the three ways by which you can change either graphically or by using the alter command or alter query you can write. And another way is by using the system stored procedure sp underscore rename db. So thanks for watching this video. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you.